Welcome back to bar 37 of Pokemon Emerald. Last time, I think we roamed around the trick houses. This time, we're still here in Slave City with this great music. Uh, so, in between episodes, I was supposed to go and figure out what exactly I wanted to do um, in terms of post-game. And I sort of did and sort of didn't, and it's a whole thing. So, we're just going to talk about it right now. Uh, I realized that most of my post-game experience because I looked a couple things up in this game, deals with, um, do we have anything in here? I don't know, I don't think so, but I'm here, so I figured I'd check. Uh, anything good, anything good, anything good? Nah, you're lame. I think this is for the contest. Uh, I realized that most of my post-game experience with this comes from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, and not Pokemon Emerald. And I don't know why that is, because I still have my Emerald cartridge, and I semi-regularly start a new game on it, because I usually play it on my Game Boy Micro, because I like that. It's super small. Um, so for some reason, I, I don't really know why, but I just don't remember a lot of stuff about this game. And is that a... I'm sorry, the pink pixel, like, on, I'll show you, like, right here, is really glaring on the screen. That's just kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so... I had to look up like where to get some of the legendaries, and I realized that um, I don't think I've ever caught Groudon and Kyogre, or if I have, it's been a very long time, because I was not familiar with how, I, I don't recall, I didn't recall how to best, um, how to go about catching these guys in this game, and it seems fairly simple actually, um, but I was just like, I don't remember this at all. Um, I was just buy 17 of those to get a nice 30. I'm sure buying Hyper Potions is not the most financially savvy thing to do, but uh, I'm going to do it because I'm going to do it. Oh, we actually have plenty of balls. Oh, we're going to get 20. We're going to get 34. Actually, 30 will be good. I don't know. That's still a lot of balls. Uh, is there anything we can sell? Oh, yeah. We have uh, Stardust. Star Piece. Uh, we can sell the Glitter Mail. Pikachu, um, oh, Magnus, pretty good. PP Max, Bead Mail. Wait a second, let me let me see here. Bag, Mail featuring a sketch of the holding Pokemon. Oh, what? Oh no, don't switch it out. I don't think that changed. I don't know how to change it. Oh, Blossom, can you even get Blossom? I think you can get Blossom in this game. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, let's give him the Amulet Coin. Or give him the magnet, and then let's give the amulet coin to Kirby. Alright, so... First things first, we have... We have a couple of... Of pokes we can get. I'm gonna go after the one that I think is... The most straightforward to get. Uh, yeah. We're going to fly, and we're going to fly. Here we go. Uh, hold on a second. Just actually, let me just do it this way. That's better. Oh, I love it. You leave the one symphonic town for the other. It always bothers. Like I said before, but it sort of bothers me that Lilico shares this music because Lilico feels like it should have its own thing. Like it's its own place. Nope. Don't use Hyper Potion. Uh, Max Repel. All right, and we are just gonna surf. I think I beat all these fools. I hope I beat all these fools. Otherwise, I'll probably try to cut the friggin' battles out. Alrighty. But we did this in the, the Sapphire playthrough. Go watch my playthrough. I'm pretty sure we did. Actually, we might not have. We might not have. Now that I think about it, it's very well possible that I just completely forgot about Sky Pillar. Oh, that was close. I hit the... I hit the Xbox button. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. I hit the Xbox button and it popped up on screen. That's so annoying. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go fast, my G. That's the thing. You gotta go fast. All right, what are we doing? We're doing okay. Straight shot and. There we go. Um, 
I like that they have these little in-between floors because you only really have to redo one floor if you screw up. They have to do like, sometimes you have to do all the challenges on this floor, but basically, I, I did not explain what I'm doing, but um, using the mock bike to, oh, so close, almost had it on the first try. Using the mock bike to uh, traverse these sinking floor things. Um, and then I think you want to do, no, so close, so close, so close. Sorry, right, we got this, we got this. You want to go in the middle? Yeah, you need to do a little bit farther. That's fine. I think this is the last floor, though. I think that's the last floor. Oh! That's so annoying. It's so close, too. So close. Alright, well, this one I need to just run out the freaking repel, because I'm gonna... I'm definitely gonna lose it on... Watch, I'm gonna lose it here. There we go. And up, up, up the stairs. And up, up, up the stairs. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, we're good, we're good. All right, let's just, nope, not Pokenab. I'm sure we could rematch some people too. I didn't even think about that. I do like this music. Is this the Aqua music? The, the Aqua and the What You Talking music? I feel like this is the same music in the cave. Um, actually, why would I do... Actually, yeah, let's just save it. It doesn't even matter. And we're going to hit my favorite combination of button. Shift F2. Alright, so why would I do this? Just do it here. That's smarter. Alrighty, this is Rayquaza. I don't remember what moves Rayquaza has. I'm liking those hieroglyphs or whatever the crap they are. Level 70 Rayquaza, um, we're gonna get thrashed. That's just, that's a fact. Ideally, we'll catch him. Yo! Yo! Extreme speed? Like, bro, chill. Alright, you're cool. Bro, you gotta hit it. You gotta hit it. You got it like that. So that's the whole issue with this. This plan sort of fails if Vivi doesn't doesn't hit. Well, I'll take that. I will take that. Um. So the rest of my Pokemon suck against Rayquaza. So this is really just gonna be kind of like pray and hope that this works. Uh, Dragon Breath. What are we looking at? It's gonna do like four damage. Well, that's better than I thought. Hey, I'll take it. I don't even know what moves Rayquaza has. All oh, extreme speed. He goes first. That's crazy. Lucky me. Uh, don't know what moves Rayquaza has. Extreme speed, outrage. Two others. Uh, give me red. Give me red. You gotta be kidding me. Well, what's the point? And just like that, he's back. Uh, we're going to switch the strategy up. Let's try this. I'm hoping that um, Dragon Breath will paralyze him. I'm like, what are the odds that you get a crit on the second one? That's, um, I think in the last episode we had Dragon Breath get a crit. And it's like, that just seems... Oh, he does have rest. Uh-huh. That sucks. Bro, crits for days. All right, he's he's resting. That's crazy. That's fine. I wish I got the crit now because that might actually help. Alrighty. Uh, nope, not yet. All right, I'm gonna use one more dragon breath. I'm gonna throw a ball up just see what happens. If I can get a couple of shakes, I might just stick with that until he wakes back up. Because this raid, um. What we got here? I do have the... I didn't get the Master Ball. Oh, did I put the Master Ball in the, um, in the PC? It's possible I put Master Ball in the PC? I'm gonna have to check though, because if we don't have the Master Ball, I'm not gonna be able to catch 
uh, the flyer at Latias, I think we picked. No way. Oh my god, that was so close. It was so close, too. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be the episode. It's just, it's just attacking stuff. And we're dead. Alright. I really like in the new games how your friendship rating will allow you to, um, allow your Pokemon to, like, hold out and withstand hits that would otherwise kill them. Like, that's really, really useful. Like, it's super useful. Oh, uh, save your life, save your life, save your life. Nice. Um, let's go with Thunderbolt. That shouldn't kill, because it's it's neutrally effective. Watch well, it get a crit, though. Alright, that's cool. Outrage, that's fine. That's fine. You should you can love that. You can love that. You're strong. You're strong. You're not strong. You're trash. You're weak. Alrighty, so let's just... um. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do one of these things. Uh, that's the beauty of playing this the way I am playing it. Uh, if this doesn't work naturally, then I will just catch him and he, he'll just get caught. He'll just get caught. And that'll be that. That'll be that, said the cat in the hat. Oh, wow. He's, he's definitely going to die. That's, that's just so crazy. Um, he's definitely going to hit himself in confusion. If that happens, then screw it. I will, uh, I'll just, I'm just going to cut back into me catching him. It's frustrating too, because like this is the part of Pokemon games that like yeah, it's fun and exciting when you do catch your po like the Pokemon that you want. Um, if you die here, yeah, I'll be back. And just like that, Rayquaza was gone. I mean, what do I look like wasting my hard-earned time trying to catch Rayquaza? Rayquaza, the Sky High Pokemon, a Pokemon that flies endlessly in the ozone layer. It is said it would descend to the ground if Kyogre and Groudon were to fight. And that's your trivia for tonight. This mofo is 23 inches, nope, 23 feet long, 455.2 pounds. Um, nah, I don't really care that much. And there you have it. Rayquaza has been caught, uh, sort of jankily, but caught nonetheless. I pray that I can fly out of this bee's niche. Actually, now that I think about it, I thought that we were supposed to, like... Well, it doesn't matter, I'm already over here. Uh, they have a shortcut back anyway, so that really doesn't matter at all. Um, but I almost feel like you should be able to fly, but... I thought there was, like, another outdoor section before you get to... Like, there's another outdoor section here, but I guess not. That doesn't make sense. Alright, so let's fly... We're actually going to fly to, um, let's fly to Mauville. Actually, actually, A-K-S-U-L-L-Y, let's fly to Lily Cove. Because right now I'm kind of curious. I don't know what happens to my Master Ball. And if I don't have my Master Ball, then it might still be here in Lily Cove. Or, there, or I might have to get somewhere else. I know where it is. In It's in the Aqua or Magma Hideout. Oh, you... No. Yeah, it's in the Aqua or Magma Hideout in Saf Ruby Sapphire. Uh, but I don't know about here. Uh, withdraw. Come on. Is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. All right, cool. Oh, uh, we'll grab that. And we'll hit one of these. Um, actually, we'll check out Rayquaza. Uh, where is that lengthy mofo? Actually, let's just move you. And summary, what do you know? Uh, oh, he knows fly, that's cool. Rest, extreme speed, and outrage. You don't really see a lot of, um, Pokemon with fly. Like, or legendaries with, um, HM moves, so it's kind of, it's always kind of nice when you get that. We're going to swap out Nemo, though, for now, because we will need, uh, Spiel, Spiel, Spiel. And let's go into the Pokemon. Uh, he knows, right? Surf and dive. Yeah, cool. All right. 
So now we're actually going to go to another one of the towns I'm quite fond of, uh, Fort Tree. Actually, it's probably quicker. I don't actually know what's faster. I guess it is technically quicker to go to Fort Tree. Yeah, we'll just go to Fort Tree. Oh, that music is so good. That's just so good. Alrighty, and we're heading back. Oh, I will make a secret base. I forgot about that. Um, oh, yeah, this is faster. Alright, let's go in here and talk to me, guy. Uh, it's not who I want to talk to. Oh, isolated cases of droughts and heavy rain. Huh. Interesting. Well, where else have we been hearing about droughts and heavy rains? Like, what, is this a freaking PBS show? Uh, talk to me, guy. Talk to me, nerd. Talk to me, nerd! I track the weather patterns over the Hoenn region. And presently, the drought has been recorded on Route 118. Could that mean somewhere near Route 118? Yes, it could mean what you think it means. Um, so we're going to hightail it over there. I don't actually know... Yeah, I don't remember this at all from doing this, like, OG. I don't remember this at all, but uh, pokes, we're gonna fly. Where's Route 118? Where's Route 118? 119. It's 118. All right, cool. Go, go, go. Go to Marvel. Go to Marvel. Just get there. Just get there. I don't know how long this event happens for. Uh, throw the repel. Throw the repel. Throw the. Where's the repel? I don't know how long this event lasts. I, I don't know anything about this. I don't, I genuinely don't remember this. And it's really bothersome. Cause I'm like, why? Like, why does it, like, why do I not remember doing this? Like, I'm pretty sure I caught Grodon and Kyogre in the game, but you'll notice, uh, yeah, there is a hole in the wall. Uh, don't fall off and get in there. All right, cool, we're safe. And we're here at Terra Cave. Uh, hit that button. We are in the Terra Cave. And come down here, come down here, come down here, come down here, and don't do nothing. Just, just don't do nothing. Um, we're going to start off with VV. Actually, yeah, because I guess Stun Spore is at least... I'm so dumb. I should have switched out a different Pokemon. All right, we're just gonna rock with this for now. If it doesn't work, I'll come back. Um, all right, do you automatically talk to him? Oh, you do, all right, that's good to know. I should have kept Sharpedo for like quick damage reduction, but alas, here we are. The thing I always liked about Grodon is that, so you see how many of the blue markings, like this is a little intro sequence, well, Kyogre has red markings, but they're always visible on his body, whereas Groudon has blue ones, but you don't see them. Like, you, you look at his body, or his, at least his sprite, they look black, and it's like they only really light up when, they, um, when they're, when they like, activated or whatever. And so it's just kind of interesting, because um, his colors are more subdued, more hidden, if you will. This actually might be a great matchup because I'm a little uh, nice. All right, cool. I'm gonna live through Solar Beam. I'm gonna live through Fissure, which is a one-hit kill move. Um, and then what else is there? Sunny Day, which is nothing. He's gonna run out. He'll hope this fool will be struggling after a while. He might know Fire Blast, but I should be able to live through that too. Like this shouldn't really be a problem at all. I love how this game introduced the most, like, expansive post-game of any game yet, save for, like, well, gold, silver, crystal having a whole second set of gem badges, but, like, outside of that, um, this game introduced, like, the battle frontier with, like, all those different stations and junk, and I just haven't gone to them. Like, I'm just, like, saving that. And it's not even gonna be good, because I'm not good at the battle frontier. Like, I haven't, I don't even remember half the challenges there. I remember, like, the battle serpent or whatever. All right, bro, can you not get a crit? Can you not get a crit here? How about you don't get a crit? Let's just not get a crit. All right, we're cool. All 
All right, we're rocking. We're rocking. We're rocking. I'm gonna hit you with that uh, that ultra ball, and we're just gonna be chucking balls. Just be chucking balls and healing Kirby until we can't heal no more. Don't tell me. All right, we're good. Just once, I want to catch this fool on like the first try. Because I was saying, I don't know if like how long the cave will last. Like after you toss it, that dude and it tells you where the cave is located. I don't know um, how long Groudon will be here until the cave disappears. Maybe I need to try that. It's like, do well. I guess I can't do it now, but get the notice like where. The, oh god. Uh, get the notice of where the cave is gonna be and then go wait outside of it and see if it like disappears but I think once you're on the route it just stays there so it's a matter of like you have to get there a certain amount of time like I looked it up on Boulder Pete it didn't seem like they knew like oh you have to get there within seven minutes or whatever it's just like get there I'm sure somebody has figured it out but uh I just haven't haven't done that Google search yet Nah, bro. Nah, bro. And just like that, Groudon's been gone. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not sent through that. Groudon, the continent Pokemon. Groudon has appeared in mythology as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground and is said to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. And that's your trivia for tonight. Alrighty. Give me a hand. No. All right. Cool. Um. Well, take the site in. Um, this is the last time we'll see this lava, I think. I think. I don't think there's any other Pokemon you can catch inside of lava. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Anything in here? Nah. And I think this cave just disappears once it's gone. Let's see. Are there Pokemon in here? That would be so cool if there are. But I imagine there are because yeah, I don't think there are. It wouldn't make any sense to have encounters here because... Yeah, that cave's gone. That's so funny. Really, the su the sunshine subsides, and uh, away goes Groudon. I don't know why I bought all those balls, given the way that I was gonna catch these fools. Um, right, let's go back to Fortree. I'm starting to think that possibly, 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 uh, I will. Actually. We'll save, um, let's save Kyogre for next time. Why not? But we'll get, we'll see if we can get one more. All right, so there's a Groudon for you. Fire Blast, Rest, Fissure, and Solar Beam. I always like the fact that, like, he's a ground type. Only has one ground type move. The other ones are, like, Psychic Fire Grass. Like, it's kind of a unique looking move set because he has different types of moves. That's kind of cool. Though his special attack is 144. And his attack is 224, so like that's Solar Beam. It's a cool combo. His uh, Drought ability plus Solar Beam. But it's also kind of dumb because it's like, bro, you're out here uh, with a trash special attack, all things considered. Alright, so let's. um, We're actually going to keep Spiel. We're going to keep Spiel in the, uh, in the party for now. I'm gonna catch Kyogre next time, uh, just just for variety's sake, I guess. Uh, but I am gonna do one other poke because I know it's gonna be fast. I know it can be fast. I'm pretty sure it can be fast. Slipper, Slipper. That's such a great name. Uh, let's fly. Let's just fly to Marvel for. Again, variety's sake. I mean, we were just there, but, you know. Actually, before we do anything else, they, like, that's the other thing about these games, is, like, sometimes there's stuff that happens that, like, you wouldn't know to go back to the Weather Institute and just talk to that dude to know that he's going to tell you where Ground and Kyogre are. Just, like, I don't know if there's anything here at Wanda's house. Let's find out. Is that right? Well, he's gone away that far all by himself. Well, I have to give him credit. He is my little brother's son. Thanks to you, I can see my- Oh, he's been saying this for freaking months, jeez. While he was in Everground, his parents in Petalgrove would be astonished to hear that. Alright, let's go see- Let's go see the homie in Petalburg. Let's see if he's there, and then we'll come back here. 
And it's actually super useful because we can just, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna walk there. We're gonna walk there just because we can, because we have a bicycle and I love how I just never cleared out the rest of that rock. Like I just left that shit. And maybe we'll have a fortuitous encounter along the way. Oh, since we're here, Rust... Oh, this music is so good. I love this music so much. Um, since we're here, we may as well just check in with everybody. Sounds like they recovered the ripped off Devin Goods. Oh, maybe if they did recover it. Um, hi there, you're always welcome here. Yes, I know this. Maybe if they did recover everything... That means um, I'm supposed to get something from the dude. Since my youth, I've immersed myself in work. Consequently, I'm not familiar with the trends and that sort of thing. But do young people all want to be trainers in the Pokemon League? Oh, I guess not. All right, screw you too, buddy. Keep standing on your freaking sofa. Alrighty, this is a nice long episode for a change. I, I realize if I play Pokemon games, I do that. I have like longer episodes, episodes which are nice. Um, I don't know, I always enjoy a good long episode. I feel like there's all these other places I should probably check out too, because like, I don't think we revisited everywhere with Surf. I, I don't think we did. All right, and let's just jump some ledges and jump some, jump some ledges and jump some ledges. That dungeon, whatever you want to call it, feels like the longest dungeon in the world when you uh, when you go through it the first time. But then it's like when you have the bike, you have repels. It's no big deal. Oh, you met Wally in Evergrande City. Oh, Brand, don't be silly. He may have gotten healthy, but he can't go somewhere far away like that all by himself. I want you to keep the secret of my husband, but our Wally left for Turf Town without telling anyone. You know, Wally is frail, but he's surprisingly strong-willed. Wait, she's like, she said that before. Like, she said that a while ago, which is kind of interesting because he has something new to say. Dad. Uh. Okay, thanks for that. Thanks for the word of advice. All right. Um. Let's just go back to... God, this music is so good, too. This music is really good. I love this game. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's go on the bike path. See if I still. Oh, you suck! You suck! I was gonna try to get the freaking, get the freaking record. Let's see if I still got it. This might be one of the only. Oh, this might be one of the only outdoor areas that has its own music. Nope, don't got. I don't still got it. I don't still got it. Three times. So, your technique is remarkable. I see you speed up a little bit while. Avoid. Yeah, of course. That's that's the way it goes. Um, whatever. Can I get my, oh my god, all these um, desks have that pink pixel, like right here, where I put the mouse on the screen earlier. It's just kind of interesting. I wasn't like expecting that. Alrighty, throw up another rappel. Throw up the bike. And we go in, we go out. We go out, we go in. We go out, we go in. And this is what we do. This is what we do, searching for the legendary freaking bird. Legendary, what are they called? The freaking, I don't know, like, you have the legendary bird, you have the legendary dogs, which is like, they're not really dogs. I mean, that's my dog, but they're not dogs. They got that dog in them, but they ain't dogs. Um, and then you got, what's the other one called? Uh... We got like the Reggie trio in this game. Bro. 
Like, how long is this gonna take? Yeah, I don't know what, like, the, this. oh, you have the, the like, this, the site, Psy Trio? What's, what's Mesprit, Uxi, and Azelf called? Um, I don't even know. But I feel like they always have those, like, neat little names. I don't know what you call Lydos and Latios. Like, they're not legendary birds. But what, is, what are Ho-Oh -Oh and Lugia called? They're not really legendary birds either. Like, the tower Pokemon? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I gotta look that up. Maybe in between episodes, I'll remember to look that up. I guess, technically, I don't have to do it this way. I could go up here. Though that that open shut animation probably is longer. There's really no no good way of doing this. It's like sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll find the mofo. Other times you just won't. All right, I'm a. This is what I'm gonna be doing for the next few minutes. So I'm gonna just cut out to when I find them. And we're back. Um, I couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. So I don't actually know. Maybe something changed between Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. That the legendary flying mofo isn't available like this way. So I'm going to go and look into that. And next episode we'll probably catch Lottie O slash Oss. And catch Kyogre. And we will continue on with the post game of Pokemon Emerald. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.